Welcome back to The Disciple, uh, the book that enables you to have 60 or more experiences of drawing closer to God and fulfilling more of your purposes of the calling he has placed on your life. Uh, in this lesson, we continue in part four, expand and improve God's kingdom through your help. And in this case, we'll be going to the third lesson in the first week, uh, which is entitled, Feel How Serving God Touches Your Heart. So let me begin by quoting from Matthew chapter 12, verse 33, and the, Lord's, the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in the New King James Version. A good man out of the treasure of his heart brings forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth evil things. Matthew 25, excuse me, 12:35 reminds us that the heart is the source of making ethical decisions and taking actions. When your heart is filled with God's goodness, you will want to express that goodness in ways that will serve him and enhance life for everyone. When your heart instead is primarily or completely compromised by the evil one, evil desires will lead to evil deeds. For the purposes of this lesson, your heart connection to God should be considered from two perspectives, before and after you do something intended to expand and improve his kingdom. The heart appeal of something that you have done before is based, of course, in part on your prior experiences with performing this kind of service for the kingdom. However, for something you haven't done before, the heart appeal will mostly be coming from how God constructed you and prepared your life to notice and to be more sensitive to certain people, things, and situations. Keep in mind that you need to be sure you have enough information for your heart to be touched in the way that God intended. For instance, if an organization that serves others doesn't provide much information about what it does, your heart might not be touched. If instead you discover that many people are helped in a way that God intended for you to perform, the heart appeal should be quite strong. So keep exposing yourself to new good activities so your heart can help lead you to the right actions for serving God. After serving, having served in a way that your heart has called you to do, consider whether that heart appeal is stronger, the same, or weaker. If the experience leaves you feeling more strongly attached to repeating the service, you are probably on the right track. Feeling about the same can also be an indication to continue. However, if your heart appeal is reduced, you may not yet be serving in the best way. Could it be that a different role or task would be closer to your calling from God? Might a different organization offer an activity that would have more heart appeal for you? Finally, if some form of service seems to attract your attention to doing sinful things, you've got a problem you need to immediately address. Take that problem to God in prayer and pay close attention to his answer. Also investigate if there are other ways to serve that don't cause such harmful distractions for you. You are surely doing at least some things for improving and expanding God's kingdom that have touched and continue to touch your heart. It's good to investigate if there are other ways to serve that will touch your heart as much or more. In such seeking, especially look into opportunities to apply more of your gifts and talents, as well as the same ones you've been applying in new, more heartfelt ways. As you have new experiences in serving, pay close attention to how your heart is affected before, during, and after each experience. The following questions will help you to assess new experiences to gain such understanding. When has God increased your heartfelt desire to do more of the same? Two, do such experiences and heartfelt desires do to do more of the same often occur when you serve in these ways? Three, when has serving God not increased your heartfelt desire to do more? Four, does such a lack of increased desire usually occur when you serve in these ways? Five, how does either receiving or not receiving increased desire from God uh, to serve affect your faith? Six, are there gifts and talents that you have not yet used to expand and improve God's kingdom? Seven, if so, how did your first experiences with applying these gifts and talents and godly service, beginning today, potentially, affect your heart's desire to do more? How does it feel to discover new ways to serve God that increase your desire to serve him and feel rewarded by the service? 
9 as a result? What do you want to say to him now about what you will do? 10, how did you feel after saying so? 11, what lessons can you share with other believers based on applying this lesson? 12, how will you increase your future experiences with new ways to serve him and his kingdom? So let me remind you of the week one memory verse, which is the one we started this lesson with. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things. An evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth evil things. Matthew 12, 35 in the New King James Version. So thanks for listening. I hope you'll apply this and have many great heartfelt results as a consequence. So take care and goodbye for now. Talk to you soon.